What's up my fellow viewers, um, welcome to another episode of Two Pit Bulls where I do dog educational as well as training videos. Um, first off, I'd like to start off by addressing something. Um, a lot of people always constantly ask me like to change my uh, the environment I record my dogs in. And sometimes the reason why I make more videos of a certain environment are because, you know, um, especially since in the summer it's, been, it's really hot, you know, in August here. Um, I don't know how it is where you guys live at, but like here it's it's over a hundred, like especially for over the last four days and moving forward, like and then till so Saturday's gonna be really hot. So I try to keep my dogs inside as much as possible in the daytime and then let them out at night because it's a lot cooler. But uh, so that's why um, I'm doing these videos of my dogs inside. Um, and probably the next ones also because it's easier it's by the time I come back in from a video if I were to film it outside I'd be sweating and like just soaked in sweat so I don't want to feel nasty and stuff so and it's easier on my dogs too because they get to chill inside so that's why I'm doing these videos um, and the next few um, inside because it's a lot easier but uh, without further ado um, let me talk about the today's topic today's topic is going to be about Colby pit bulls um, as you can see, Yogi's way over there. He's right there. He's he's almost he's almost asleep. To be honest, he likes a really the cool floor. But uh, let me get a closer up look of him. Oh boy, look at them! They missed you, boy. Uh, oh, look at him! Look at him! So uh, yeah. Um, look at Nala. She's like, man, give me some attention too. <laughs> Nala's pretty chill. Um, anyways, the reason that they're always in here and lying on the floor when I'm recording is because they like that cool floor. It's like good on their stomach and on their sides. That's why he lays on his stomach. See him over there? He's laying on his stomach. It cools him down. So, yeah, it's just it just beats the shade outside right now over 100 degrees. So, yeah. But, uh, Kobe Pitbulls, um, <clears throat> when many people think of Pitbulls, you know, they think of fighting dogs. Um, they think of, you know, just the aggressive connotation that... You know these in reality wonderful dogs have and so <clears throat> that's one thing that can't be ignored you know <clears throat> another thing is uh kobe pit bulls are an example of a type of pit bull that was originally bred with for the purpose of one thing in mind and that is winning fights so kobe pit bulls which i believe yogi somewhere in his blood has this bloodline in him because he looks strikingly similar similar to kobe pit bulls um were bred for one purpose, and that is fighting and winning fights back in the early 18, uh, late 1800s. So, uh, this disgusting practice of dog fighting in this country, albeit illegally, but many of the Colby dogs that are still part of this historic line are now owned by responsible dog lovers um, who would never dream of participating in the barbaric world of dog fighting, which is me, you know. Um, I would never participate my dogs in fighting. Um, it's just torture you know it's so inhumane um moving on this line began in 1889 when john p colby used the best dogs brought into the commun uh, country by immigrants to create what he considered to be the perfect dog so what it's saying there it's that uh john p colby um who the dogs uh the bloodline of those dogs is named after colby colby pitbulls um, he decided to breed pit bulls for fighting specifically because, you know, it was, they would have gambled, they would, uh, place bets to see which dog would win. And so he came up with the idea of breeding specific, um, dogs, um, based on appearance and athleticism and endurance and <clears throat> temperance and all this other stuff. And that is how the Kobe, uh, pit bull bloodline started. Uh, not many people know of this. I real I I uh I did research on this breed back in college, so like four years ago, and uh, it was very fascinating because I never knew anything about it. So I got Yogi and I googled to see what kind of bloodline he was, and that's more likely the kind of bloodline that he came from, Colby Pitbulls. But uh, as in the case with all breeds, certain qualities were considered valuable when Colby was creating Pitbulls, um, especially this line of dog. The qualities that he cherished were temperance gameness and gameness and confrontation i mean uh confirmation so confirmation gameness and temperance uh the reason he wanted those qualities as mentioned above was for fighting um the sad fact is that his dogs were the best on the dog fighting scene one champion named colby's bobtail bob 
won a record 20 battles. You could Google that photo of Bobtail Bob. Um, I'm pretty sure it's out there. I think I've seen it once. Um, there's not many pictures of Kobe Pitbulls, to be honest. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty hard to find pictures of, of it. So, I'll post some pictures of Kobe uh, Pitbulls on my thumbnail, as many as I can fit. I usually try to fit four pictures on each thumbnail. Um, also, I'll post some links to pictures of Kobe Pitbulls. And so, yeah. But the reason he wanted um, those qualities, as mentioned above, was for fighting. The sad fact is that his dogs were the best on the dog fighting scene. Um, so now, more than 100 years later, the lineage of uh, Kobe dogs can now be traced back to the start of this line. Um, the same traits that made the dogs and fighters are now available for different reasons. These dogs are extremely intelligent, um, athletic, and loyal. So, you know, those three traits turn into something positive. That's what I like to see in a lot of the bully community, uh, as well as people community. Like, um, negative things um, turn to positive and making the breed look a lot, you know, better and more socially acceptable and so forth and so on. But unfortunately, some people still want dogs with the Kobe bloodline because they are good fighters. This includes people who participate in illegal dog fight in the United States and those who transport the dogs to other countries such as Mexico where dog fighting is still legal. I forgot to mention that earlier. My grandpa, um, his friend used to go watch illegal pit bull dog fighting. But it's always been legal there. Here it would be illegal, you know, because it's... I don't agree with dog fighting, but back then they used to bet on certain dogs to win, just like cock fights um, with chickens. The same thing with pit bulls down in Mexico. Um, so another thing, um, so it's still happening in some countries, um, even here behind closed doors. Um, that's just that's just the reality of the situation. The Kobe dogs that are not unfortunate enough to end up in the hands of people who consider. Uh, blood battles a sport um, often have you know use for the gameness that was branded to them these dogs are often winners at dog shows and take the top prizes at canine athletic competitions such as weight pulling so I have seen Kobe Pibbles in weight pulling and they thin them down so they can have a lot of endurance um, that's why you see some people say well these aren't real American Pibble Terriers because they're too fat so they're automatically an American bully no, what happens is an American people Terrier is usually perceived as this athletic, slim dog. If you Google it, you will see what I'm talking about. Um, they're perceived as slim game dogs, but, you know, just over the ages, people get them fat, you know, or, you know, they just try to pack a little weight because you don't want your dog looking like you're not feeding it. So that's the reality of the situation. But uh, other Colby dogs are family pets and are wonderful security dogs that are typically very watchful over the children and family. That's what I would describe Yogi as. He's very watchful over us. Um, anytime he sees a stranger approaching, he kind of lets his guard up. You can see his hairs on the back of his neck stick up. His tail becomes stiff. His ears stick up. So he's just on alert. Just like Nala too. I would say Nala's a good security dog also. Uh, many of Today's pit bulls are stocky and have a larger head. See, this goes with what I was talking to you guys about. Like, pit bulls have changed over the years. Um, Kobe pit bulls, however, tend to be slimmer. See? Slimmer and more agile, which is what I was just talking about. Um, another thing is uh, they're more agile than other types of pit bulls. It should be noted that what is desirable in pit bulls varies between different dog breed associations. Um, for example, the American Dog Breeders Association, or ADBA, looks um, favorably upon pit bulls with a slimmer build, such as the Colby pit bulls. See what I meant? This is what I'm talking about. Um, the United Kennel Club, on the other hand, favors a stockier build, which is the UKC. Um, it does prefer pit bulls to look more um stocky more meaty um whereas the adba prefers the people to look old school with more slimmer builds to them and just lean but uh those wishing to own a true colby pitbull um will have to wade through the many breeders who claim to have dogs with the colby bloodline but offer a little proof that uh, you know that that's the case the best way to be sure that you are getting a true Kobe is to contact the family directly through the website. So there is a website about Kobe Pitbulls. Um, the descendants of John P. Kobe still breed the dogs. There are not too many that are available in any given year, um, but they may be able to point you in the right direction if they do not have any Pitbulls available, any puppies available. Sorry. 
I actually plan on doing this, like reaching out to them, you know, as soon as I get some money saved up and trying to get an original Kobe Pitbull that's, you know, papered and, you know, says that it's legit. But I really think Kobe, uh, Yogi is a Kobe Pitbull or, you know, half Kobe bloodline, half, you know, old school Pitbull, but I may be wrong, but I just think so because of how strikingly similar he looks to them. But, uh, I hope this video helped you guys um, learn more about the Kobe Pitbulls. If, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys didn't even know what the Kobe Pitbull bloodline was. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys learned a lot. If at any point in this video made you smile or you learned something, hit, hit that big thumbs up and um, give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, I try to do daily videos. I've been currently busy. I just got a new job. I'm loving it. Um, it was Today was my second day, actually. So... Yeah, I mean, to all you kids out there, go to college, study hard. Um, college is not easy, but, I mean, if you stick to it, um, nothing's easy. Life ain't easy, but, um, so, yeah, that's where I'm at in life now. Graduated from college, but uh, that's another video. I'll do that video on uh, once I get a 1,000 subscribers, which, you know, may be a while, but uh, I'll do a face reveal with that video also. But uh, I'm pretty sure you guys are going to be like... Congrats on your new job. Thank you guys ahead of time. God bless. Keep the great, um, you know, peaceful vibes with uh, you. I hope you guys, if you guys are going through a hard time, don't worry. Take deep breaths. Say it's going to get better because it will get better. Because um, before, you know, after the storm, there's the calm. So, uh, yeah, no worries. Stay positive. God bless. Be peaceful and have you guys... Um, have you guys yourself a good day see you guys tomorrow i'll keep dropping these videos as long as i have time after work and uh peace bye bye